Yo, what's up guys? Chase the Bro here, and welcome back to another Dark Souls 3 Weapon Showcase. Today we're going to be taking a look at the Drang Twin Spears. Yes, I almost never use these things. I think I had one video on them about three years ago uh, with Dark Moonblade, because I used to put Dark Moonblade on everything, but I was just showcasing them back then, and I thought I'd go full circle. This time I'm not going to use Dark Moonblade, we're just going to try it sharp with a bundle and see how it compares. Um, here's my build for today, so I have 70 Dexterity. Building me a nice 400 AR here. Let me just take off the buff just so we can actually see it. Uh, sorry. But it is... Oh, 344. Sorry, not 400. 450 with the buff. I'm done. <laughs> uh, let's see. I'm also using a Blessed Cestus to slowly regen FP since I, I don't know what else I'd want in my offhand. My Priest Chime is for my uh, Tears of Denial. And then my armor is just fashion that I like. I've been using it a lot for my Blessed build and my Strength build. And this actually just happened to be my Strength build reallocated. So I already had the fashion. We got Prisoner's Chain, Life Ring, Ring of Favor, and my fourth ring slot is something I can swap around, but I think I'm going to go with Leo Ring. I mean, all the attacks are thrust on the off chance that I happen to get a counterattack. Boom, we have a win. It gives us some extra damage output. Here's the stats for you guys. Actually, it's probably easier to see this way. So, I'm uh, rocking 70 decks. The rest are really allocated between Endurance and Vigor. Just enough Vitality to wear this armor set and and 10, in, or 10 Faith so I can use Tears with the Priestess Ring by swapping. So it just saves me 5 points. Ah, uh, but yeah, this thing has the same moveset as most spears, you know, the R1s and R2s, both thrusts, uh, obviously this is a dual wield weapon, so we get the L1, uh, those combo together, the first L1s, uh, it's got a really fast L1 rolling attack, I'm not sure if it's faster than the Gothards, but it's very, it's very close, uh, the weapon art is a charge, kind of the same as a lot of the spears, the Astora, I don't know why I always do the heavy after, it like cues a second R2, <laughs> I don't mean to, it's gonna do this to see what happens. Yeah, we're good. Okay. <laughs> All right, boys. Let's just jump into the arena and see how we do. All right, our first round fighting rapier, dark moonblade rapier, probably. Hello there, sir. Oh, it's it's son's grandchild. What in the hell? <laughs> the first thing I do is get a viewer that I normally play with. Ha! Huh. I wonder if the Leo Ring's counter damage came in handy right there. It might have. There, I think it did. <laughs> With the R1 combo into the R2, so I don't think so. Oh, nice try, nice try, son, nice try. <laughs> Put that away. <laughs> Got a little bit of HP left on our boy. Good fight, son's grandchild. <laughs> that was honestly funny because we were both using thrust weapons. We had like the rapier or the s dock. <laughs> really interesting fight. And a purple. You know what? Oh, it's a pyro purple. All right, all right. Let me just not forget to put Leo ring. You know, I'll bow, man. I'll bow. Honor in such arena. No. <laughs> Actually, oh no. Whatever will I do? <laughs> Pyromancy is firing at VChat. Oh no. Oh no. Are we done with that? <laughs> Can we fight now? I'm a race car. <laughs> uh, maybe he'll actually try to use a whip. I mean, you have a follower saber. I don't know why you're so opposed to actually using it. I wonder if the R1's combo into the L1's. Confirmed R1 combos to L1. <laughs> okay, good fight. So, if you want a faster R1, you get three hits out of it instead of, like, the L1. But it worked for that situation, so. GG. Oh, a shield. You know, I was, I've been wondering how I would handle a shield, to be completely honest. So we'll see. Uh, let's put on Leo Ring. Hello there, flying. Uh, you know, I'll bundle just cuz. <laughs> I don't know why my character turned around right there. Oh, you don't like the kick, huh? <laughs> the kick is your downfall. Woo. Sometimes you can't punish the style. Oh! Well, now I'm intrigued. How did he backstab the front of me? 
Oh, maybe maybe I just didn't get that apparent part where he tried to do the the pivot, I guess. But for me, he was in front of my face, so that was very intriguing. That was meant to be. Oh, my game lagged right then, and he got four R ones in. Wow. The luck on this man. Oh, again. Why am I getting frame loss right then? You are the luckiest dude in the universe, my man. The absolute luckiest. <laughs> I get triple frame loss right as he comes in. Woo! I'll still try to win it though. With a fucking flare. Oh, GG. <laughs> You're so lucky my game froze three times. What the hell? GG, though. <laughs> my game would try to cuck me against the straight sword user. <laughs> I find that funny. Hello, Jack. How are you, sir? Hello. Have a wave. Jack Bonin Stack. Okay. I like that helm, by the way. I don't know what it is, but it's it, it amuses me. I kind of want to make a build with it. Maybe like a Zoro build. Cause it looks it looks fancy. Whoa, booty! <laughs> I found myself a bum, and I wasn't even looking. Well, that's kind of a good combo, actually. You know what the scythe? I feel like the scythe and the great lance just have. A lot of combo potential. Like in the offhands, they both stun into a lot of things. It's kind of cool. Good fight there, though, sir. Kind of digging these. These things have good space punish. Hard to pressure with because it's pretty easy to dodge spear, I guess. Well, except the running attack, but. I swear I must have some, like, psychic powers. Oh, I, well, was this guy not just holding the Great Lance? Okay. My mind is blown. Could have sworn. <laughs> Hello, Zinrin. Shinrin? I never want to butcher the names. I do want to land the weapon art. I don't know if I'll be able to get it against this guy, though. I mean, he's got a lot of hyper armor. We'll, we'll see. Perhaps. Perhaps I will. I like his delayed R1s, though. They're kind of interesting. Oh, God. Oh, God. <laughs> Not the latency. <laughs> okay, we're good. I think he was just having a momentary lapse of internet failure. I landed the first hit, Shinrin. What is your plan now, Stan? To not get backstabbed, I guess. Good plan, good plan. Uh, was it worth? I don't know, but I landed the weapon art, so let it let it be known. Oh, ho, ho, ho. that was a damaging L1. Yeah, you're not gonna be able to backstab on this latency. I can already, can already feel that, so I, I tried. <laughs> I can try again though. <gasps> ah, yeah, no, I should have just went for the R1. Any delayed punish will be rough when someone has any type of latency with you. I'm really surprised he hasn't gone for the, a rolling attack though, actually. That might catch me off guard. I did it again! <laughs> I went for the roll or the running L1 and not the R1. Uh, close. Oh, good fight, Shinrin. Good fight. You handled that well against spears. Spears are really annoying when you're using any type of slow oven. Oh shit! Black Knight Greatsword to Black Knight Great Axe. What? <laughs> I'm liking it, dude. You guys are all bringing fun weapons. I, I dig it. I think I've only fought in one straight sword lad. Although it might blend together in my mind because, you know, they're so common. <laughs> Accelera, by the way. Um, I'm not sure what that name means. By the, ooh. Ooh. Maybe Accelerate. <laughs> oh, damn it! I just gave you the benefit of the doubt. I damn, I praised you. I praised you, my dude. <laughs> and you're living my and dry. Oh, my heart. Why? Why, Accelerate? Why? 
We bowed. What? Okay. Rude. Rude and inconsiderate. Oh, he got hit by the first one, but parried the second one. Interesting, to say the least. <laughs> That's right, get down there, parry lad. Stop throwing shit at me. <laughs> so, I won't be using the L ones. I guess it gives too much of an opportunity for a parry. But, literally, but... If he just keeps trying to parry with me, we'll just keep backstabbing him, so. Ooh, decent, decent. Mr. Accelerate in the house here with his parries. You're not letting me show off this thing's cool moveset, because you just are one parrying and I can't really punish it. No. Ha! <laughs> I'm not doing the L1 ever again, good sir. No sir E Bob. Not with uh, there you go. Now you can combat my running attacks. Why didn't you do this right away? Oh, so so his hit me. But mine didn't hit him. <laughs> Interesting. Good fight, Accelerator. You tried to plunge me, didn't you, you bitch? You fucking tried it. You tried to scum me. <laughs> Good fight, though. Alright, you know, so far, so good. Oh, no. <laughs> that might scare me a little bit. Crown with, with the Abyss Watcher swords. Oof, this actually might become difficult. Maybe not. Not if I can... What? Okay, well. <laughs> I was gonna say not if I can land the backstab, but... Oh, there we go. That one was so much more instant than the first one. Why? I guess the out and in strategy is probably the best for, for doing well against this sword when you don't have a shield. Um, I want to land more L1 combos, though. But it's actually difficult when so many people have offhand parry things. Maybe that? Yeah, there we go. Just gotta like space it perfectly. I could also space his L1, I guess. But then I have a chance of getting hit, so. Mm. Cool. Good fight, Cram. Good fight. You helped me realize that how to backstab that better. <laughs> I usually just parry it. Oh, a fellow spearman. Hello there, my dear. Whoa. You're rude, you dick. <laughs> Don't try to rolling attack me. Ow. Yeah, if you fail the backstab, that's really not worth it, just so you know, so. If you keep doing that, it's gonna take all I have to not parry you, mister. So, please stop. Thank you. <laughs> I really... Parry? Yeah. What? 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 Excuse me? I feel cheated. That was... That was literally... Literally a perfect backstab. Oh well. I guess we'll have opportunity for another. Uh, or confusion will strike and I don't even land my L1 even though they both hit him. His R1 still have more poise. Okay. So I guess spears are different sometimes. Flame? No? You want to play the world war, Mr. Young Crowbars? Where'd you go in, buddy? Trying to use the weapon art on me from up there? I don't understand your tactic of the high ground, but okay. He has the high ground, Anakin. Well, you look like you're just trying to regen while you back away. I feel like, oh, a shield. Shield of want. Heavy roll shield. Probably not your best call. Oh, you want to do that. That might work for you. Ah! That's not going to work for you, though. I want him to come in so I can just bait into a rolling attack. 
There we go. Goodbye, sir. Hey, you fell right for my strategy, good, good sir. <laughs> he had a troll face too. Typical. Good fight. Alright, and this will be the final duel before our invasion chat. Alright, we'll give him a bow. You know, he deserves the bow. FP. Well, wait a second. Wait a second there, young one. Oh, I like the mix-up. It's like... Actually, it's very interesting. Because he's using the... What's it called? The Valor Heart. Not even, like, the other thing. Not even just a regular straight sword. Just, like, a regular... That thing is... A weird bait. I wonder why he's just doing it on the air. I think he's kind of tired of me at this point. <laughs> That's just the feeling that I'm getting. <laughs> he's annoyed as hell. <laughs> Every time he does his bait, he gets hit in between it. So he's like, wow, what the hell? Do you guys like doing anything that is dangerous by any means or no? Okay, I guess I can't backstab with this. It's just something I'm learned. I've learned. I don't know why. It just has a weird backstab grab window. Nice. We're both using using Leo Ring, but I think his has better. Oh, that was a lot of damage. <laughs> now you're scared, huh? <laughs> Good fight though. That's 420 something for that rolling attack. I think because he was thrusting forward on it too. Yeah, these things held up actually. They're not terrible. I, I don't know how they're going to be for an invasion though. I guess we'll see. <laughs> Alright, Ring City Invasion. Average, average. GoDaddy.com. Alright. Hey there. Hey brother. I guess this is different than the arena. <laughs> I'll still be honor a brew though. Hey, daddy, come back. Daddy, come back. And he kind of cool. Oh, wow, yeah. Hornet ring makes a huge difference in backstabs. Just so we're clear. <laughs> Whoa. Maybe I should have put on Hornet instead of Leo. Against Sir. Oh. <laughs> I was fat, but now I'm found. <laughs> Can we win it with the weapon art, boys? Can we do it? What? I feel cheated. <laughs> with the weapon art. Oh, I was out of FP. I was going to say I did literally no damage. <laughs> good, good fight, Havilord, though. Alright everyone, those are all the battles that I have for you for today with the Drang Twin Spears. If you enjoyed the showcase, you know, comment other weapons below. I'm continuing the series until we've done everything, so input is always appreciated. I think I've done most things in my inventory that are strength-based, I'm pretty sure. Maybe not the Dragon Slayer Great Axe. I forget if I did Yorms. I, every time I do a weapon, I have to go through the showcase like playlist to make sure I haven't already done it because there's so many weapons it's so hard to keep track of <laughs> uh, but here's all the stats again if you guys you know skip by the first half in the beginning uh, 70 decks the rest allocated as you like really you need 14 strength for the weapon but it performs really well on a dex build alternatively you could go 40 decks and have like a lot of faith as a buff for dark moonblade it'll do more damage but your damage output is time limited so it's it's really up to you uh, my, my fashion is just because I like this fashion no particular reason doesn't really help much with spears to have like insane amount of poise or anything. I just like the way it looks. And yeah, these are the rings. So thank you guys for watching. I hope you enjoyed. Get some rest. And I'll see you soon.